Welcome to See This World at UK. Today we're back in the city of Gloucester, right in the heart of Gloucestershire itself. So today, Gloucester Cathedral is part of my world. Gloucester Cathedral, formerly the Cathedral Church of St. Peter and the Holy and Indivisible Trinity in Gloucester, England, stands in the north of the city near the River Severn. It originated in 678 or 679 with the foundation of an abbey dedicated to St. Peter, dissolved by Henry VIII. So tickets in hand come with me as we explore the historic city cathedral of Gloucester. We're starting our journey in the nave. The Victorian water-themed west window illuminates the font and the grandeur of the Norman arches and pillars. The cathedral choir dates back to 1541 and the existing organ has been playing here since 1666. The choir is the most sacred and richly decorated part of the cathedral. Here you will find the great east window dating from 1350 and an orchestra of angels on the vault known as the ceiling. The high altar beneath the window is the focus of Christian worship in the cathedral. The colourful wall paintings which decorate this chapel depict scenes from the life of St Andrew. The paintings were created by Thomas Gambier Parry in 1868.
William the Conqueror's eldest son, Robert of Normandy, is buried in the cathedral. He fought with his brother Henry I for the crown and was imprisoned by him for nearly 30 years, ending his days in Cardiff Castle. Tom Denny's modern stained glass windows in this chapel depict the story of St. Thomas and are inspired by Psalm 148, which sings of all creation praising God. The building of the Lady Chapel began in 1465. It is dedicated to Mary, the mother of Jesus, and has some of the cathedral's finest stained glass. The side windows were designed by the arts and crafts artist Christopher Wall. Edward II was buried here in 1327 after meeting a mysterious and reputedly gruesome end. This magnificent tomb was built later on in the orders of his son Edward III. It became the Abbey's most important monument bringing in visitors and wealth. Henry VII saved the Abbey from destruction because his royal ancestor was buried here. If you climb up to the Tribune Gallery, you can find out how the cathedral was built and try some hand-on activities. You can also enjoy superb views of the choir and the great east windows and discover the mysterious Whispering Gallery. Down this side of the cathedral, this window commemorates England's only coronation outside Westminster Abbey since 1066. 
Henry III was crowned here in 1216, aged just nine. The monk's daily life revolved around this world famous cloister. Here you can marvel at the beautiful fan faulted ceiling and discover the monk's communal washing area known as the lavatorium. The cloister appeared as parts of Hogwarts school in three of the Harry Potter films. The cloister is known to millions as the corridors of Hogwarts school. When Warner Brothers made films 1, 2 and 6 of the Harry Potter's adventures, they shot some scenes here at Gloucester Cathedral. The monks of Gloucester Abbey used the cloister for studying, teaching and relaxing, much as the staff and pupils of Hogwarts School did in the films. This location in the cloisters is where the words the Chamber of Secrets has been opened, Enemies of the Air Beware, appeared in the film of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This corridor was filled with water after moaning myrtle flooded the girls' toilets in the film of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. At the end of this cloister, this doorway was used as the entrance to the Gryffindor common room. Further along this corridor was used in the film of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. During the pupil's first day back at school, you can even stand on the stone bench next to the door in the same place that Harry and Ron stood. During the scene in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone where the troll smashes up the girls' toilets, the troll walked along this very corridor where Harry and Ron hid behind a pillar in the lavatorium. The cloister garth is a peaceful garden which forms the heart of the cloister. It's a great place to relax and reflect. It also has the best view of the tower.
the film Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Gryffindor pupils hurried through this very doorway back to their common room after it was announced that there was a troll in the castle. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on great future content from Stevie's World UK. Until next time, be safe, be good, be kind and be careful. It takes 24 hours for the world to turn once, but only 2 seconds to like or subscribe to see great future content from Stevie's World UK.